Hi, I'm James. And I'm Laurent. And this is Beatty, our little Pomsky. Beatty is not even a year old and she still has that crazy puppy energy. And we always need to find new things to keep her occupied. She has a box full of toys. She also has puzzles. She has tons of stuffed animals, but it never seems to be enough. Nope. She gets bored with her toys very quickly. Even if we bought the entire store, it would still not be enough. Sounds familiar? <laughs> Luckily, if there is one thing Beatty never gets tired of, it's treats. In this video, we'll show you some DIY toys that use treats to keep your dog occupied and won't cost you any money. So let's go! Beady loves treats, and she's willing to go through lots of efforts to get more. We have purchased lots of toys to dispense treats. She has a Kong where we hide treats or peanut butter. She has a pyramid and a bowl that she needs to knock over and roll to get the treats hidden inside. And she loves playing with these toys. But ironically, some of her favorite toys are DIY toys. The first one is her favorite toy in the whole wide world. It's a big bottle of orange juice where we hide either treats or kibbles of real food. She never seems to get tired of it. It can keep her occupied for half an hour at a time. Half an hour might not sound like much to you, but for us, half an hour is an eternity. This bottle is the Tropicana 89 ounce orange juice bottle. It's not that we prefer Tropicana over any other brand of orange juice, but the way the spout is designed makes it harder for the treats to come out. On the smaller Tropicana bottle, the spout is just a continuation of the bottle and the treats come out with much less resistance. She spins the bottle, she throws it around, and it usually takes several attempts for her to get some treats out. And whenever treats do come out, she's so excited to see her efforts finally rewarded that she goes back looking for more. We put lots of different treats in her bottle. Trading treats, pieces of sweet potato, fish skin. And even some of her real food. And all of them seem to work. They're equally difficult to get out. It's actually good to mix different types of treats as different shapes and different weight densities seem to be coming out differently. It's physics. And I love physics. Physics is tasty. Her second favorite DIY toy is just a normal plastic water bottle. When the bottle is brand new, treats come out fairly easily. But the bottle doesn't stay brand new for very long. Once she steps on it and chews on it, the bottle flattens out in the middle and treats don't come out as easily. They tend to get stuck at the bottom of the bottle and it becomes a lot harder to get the treats out. And that's when you realize how big of a tongue your dog has. <laughs> but Bitty doesn't seem to get discouraged by it, and she can play with the bottle for quite some time. We found out that thicker plastic bottles like soda water or smart water work better than standard water bottles that flatten out too easily. And apparently Bitty's not the only Pomsky who likes plastic bottles. Rocco, he's also a big fan. With all these toys, we try to use a mix of treats and real food. And Beatty really likes her treats, better than her real food. <laughs> but we don't want her to get fat with all these treats. I'm not fat. I'm just a little husky. <laughs> so we try to use treats that are healthier, such as Grandma Lucy's. And a big thanks to Grandma Lucy's for sponsoring this video. Their treats are single ingredients, pure chicken or pure liver or pure fish and nothing else. The white fish is Beatty's favorite. And we can break them down in small pieces. They are great to use with toys. And number three is a trick that we learned from Theo, who's another Pomsky and is Biddy's cousin. Assuming you have toilet paper at home, you have all the ingredients required for this one. When you're done with a roll, you are left with a brown cardboard tube in the middle. You just take the brown roll, fold it in one end, put whatever treats you want in the tube, and then fold the other end. And that's it. Your dog is then good to go for a few minutes. Depending on how destructive your dog is and how soggy the roll gets, it might only get a single use. But with very little effort on your part, you'll have a toy that your dog will enjoy playing with. You may just have a little bit of cleaning to do at the end. 
Number four on our list is the plain old milk carton. This is one of Beatty's favorites. It's probably the combination of looking for hidden treats and tearing things up that gets her excited about this toy. Because Beatty loves to tear things up. We normally rinse the inside of the carton before giving it to Beatty. We just don't want to have leftover milk dripping all over our floor. But even if you rinse it, there's usually a little bit of milk left in the carton. And during the few minutes it takes her to tear the carton apart, the milk tends to soak the treats inside. Yeah, it feels like she enjoys the treats even more because they have the added milk flavor. Regardless, she loves playing with her milk carton, and it keeps her occupied for a good 10 minutes. But here again, there's a little bit of cleaning to do when she's done with it. And number five is a good old bone. This is an idea that we got from Vila. In case you didn't know, dogs still love bones, even in the 21st century. If you have a small dog and you get a big bone, the bone will basically be indestructible. But the purpose is not for your dog to eat the bone. The purpose is to use the bone as a toy and put treats inside the bone. The best is to use a treat that is a bit gooey, like peanut butter. Beady loves peanut butter. <laughs> and if you put the peanut butter deep enough inside the bone, it will get her going for quite some time. Bones are somewhat hard to come by nowadays, but you should be able to ask for one if your grocery store has a real butcher. And as we said before, once you have a good bone, it should last a long time. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big paw up. And put your comments in the comment section below. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, we are going to put a link right here. Be sure to click the bell if you want to get notifications about our latest videos. And if you want to watch our latest videos, we're going to put one right here and another one right there. Bye. Bye. Beatty says bye. Bye.